Putin's ally suggested expanding the target of Russian weapons to shores of Atlantic Ocean. Russia's buffer zone in Ukraine effectively extends to the whole of Europe due to the range that Western weapons provides Kyiv's forces, Kremlin propagandist Vladimir Solovyov has said. In March, Putin called for a new sanitary zone within Ukraine to help protect against long-range strikes by Kyiv and cross-border raids, Newsweek recalls. He said such a buffer area would be quite difficult to penetrate with foreign weapons. Solovyov who has close ties to Putin, raised this topic on his evening program on the Russia One channel, where he frequently describes the war started by Putin as a proxy conflict between NATO and Moscow and calls for missile strikes on the West. One guest, Rodion Miroshnik, a Russian foreign ministry ambassador at large, asked, why is there a question about a sanitary zone? Given that the 20-mile distance between the combat zone and the border city of Belgorod could be breached by Ukrainian artillery and multi-launched rocket systems. But Solovyov said that the real sanitary zone is the Atlantic with the arrival of F-16 fighter jets and missiles that can travel 1,000 kilometers. Washington gave the go-ahead for other countries to supply the US-made aircraft which are expected to arrive on the front line this summer. Kyiv is awaiting the delivery of a $61 billion military aid package passed by US Congress in April. These dirt bags will not calm down until Russian soldiers are making porridge to feed the liberated citizens of Berlin, Paris and Lisbon, he said in comments in a clip shared on X by journalist and Russia watcher Julia Davis. Solovyov said that he was in favor of very harsh methods in the war suggesting that a Russian flag would be planted in the rubble after the country's destruction after which we will build everything from scratch. Solovyov also spoke of the need for Nazi dirt bags to be eradicated, referring to one of Putin's justifications for his full-scale invasion being to denazify Ukraine, which has been roundly rejected by Kiev and the international community. Solovyov then used dehumanizing rhetoric in describing the fight against Ukraine by asking, have you ever tried getting rid of bedbugs? Next to the video clip, Davis posted on X, meanwhile in Russia, Vladimir Solovyov insisted that Russia's sanitary zone should stretch all the way to the Atlantic. He compared Ukrainians to bedbugs that have to be eradicated in order for Ukraine to be cleansed, the Post added. An explosion at a chain home improvement store in northeastern Romania on Friday injured at least 15 people, authorities said. Four of the injured are in a critical condition. Authorities are working to determine what caused the explosion. Two of the victims were transported to a hospital in the city of Yash, while two were airlifted to capital Bucharest to receive faster medical care, Ministry of Health reported. Some of the injured people suffered burns of 10 to 15 percent to the upper parts of their bodies, it said. Emergency helicopters were alerted, and two ambulances and two fire trucks were sent to the scene of the incident. A search and rescue mission is underway inside the store. The explosion occurred at about 10.30 a.m., retail company, Didi Man, said in a statement, adding that an authorized external company was working on its Batasani store's gas supply system during the incident. Video footage shared by the authorities showed part of the building's facade had been blown out by the explosion, with air conditioning units strewn across the area in front of the store amid debris.